Hello and welcome back to Create with Chidex. I'm Chidema and today I'm going to be showing you how I made this beautiful cake stand and the gazebo that I used for this cake. The beauty about this set is that you can choose to decorate it however you'd like. For the cake stand you can choose to put lights in it just like I did here or you can use it without lights. And for the gazebo you can decorate it with whatever decorations that you choose to use. What's even more amazing about the set is that it's very easy to make. So without further ado, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I post new content. And I will just get on right to the tutorial. I started with two pieces of MDF board, which I cut into two 14 inches circles. I also have here six spacers cut from dowels. So they're about two inches in height. I've also got my wood glue and my bling ribbon, which I bought from Amazon. The woods used during this project were all bought from home base, or you can buy them from any DIY hardware supply store. The first thing I'll be doing will be to drill a hole in the middle of one of the boards, one of the circular boards. So I'm drilling this hole so I'll be able to insert the blade of my jigsaw and cut a circle in this board. I actually placed this board on top of the second one to protect my bottom surface so I don't mistakenly drill into the surface. So now I'm just lifting the board so that it doesn't drill a hole in the second board. Now using my jigsaw I'll cut a 5 inches diameter circle at the center of the board which I drew the hole in. As this board is the bottom of my cake stand, I cut this circle so that I can insert lights into the cake stand if I want to. Now that I've cut my wood, I've got everything I need for the cake stand. I've got my glue sticks, my wood glue, five strips of acetate sheets, 12 screws, six wooden spacers, a 14 inches circular board without a hole in the middle, and a 14 inches circular board with a hole cut out in the middle. I've also got my drill, my glue gun, and my bling ribbon. So to make the cake stand, I glued my spacers around the board, the bottom board with a hole in the middle. So I put my wood glue and then I'm sticking it down. I didn't measure it, but I left roughly the same distance in between the spacers. The sun's going down as I try to make my way through the crowd. Feeling alive. I love being by your side. It makes me shine. We got one summer, so let's make it count. You make me feel like everything's alright. Let's dance our problems away in the night. Love being right. After gluing the spacers onto my bottom board, I'll allow them to dry for about 30 minutes. Then I'll apply some glue on top of the spacers. before gluing the second board right on top of them like so. I'm just using my ruler to make sure that I'm centering it properly. When I'm satisfied with the positioning, then I'll place a heavy item on top of it to press it down and seal it properly. I'll then leave it for about an hour for the glue to dry. After one hour, using my drill, 
I'll drill holes through the circular boards at the points where the spacers are. Then after drilling the six holes for the top board, I'll insert my screws to hold the spacers and the board together more securely. Next, I'll flip the cake stand over and do the same thing for the bottom board. When I had inserted all the screws, using my glue gun, I glued the acetate sheets around the two circular boards to cover the gaps between them and also provide a base for my bling ripper. The next thing I did was to glue a 14 inches cake drum on top of the stand using my hot glue. Then I attached these mirror mosaic tiles which I got from Amazon at the top edges and the bottom edges as well. The tiles are self adhesive so I just used my hot glue at the beginning and the end of each strip. To make it more secure. I'm going to attach the rest of the mirror mosaic tile strips off camera and then I'll be back. I've now finished attaching the mirror mosaic tiles at the top and the bottom edges. Before continuing with the stand, I decided to test it by putting lights in it. So I noticed that when I put in the lights, I could still see the space as they were visible through the transparent acetate sheet. So I decided to glue some parchment paper strips around the circular boards to reduce the amount of light passing through. After gluing the parchment paper strips, using the same hot glue, I glued the blink ribbon over the strips.
I've now finished making the cake stand. If I choose to, when using it, I can insert lights through the hole at the bottom. For the gazebo, I've got four 7.5 inches dowels. Then I've got two boards, 8 inches diameter, cut out from wood as well. So I marked out points where the dowels will be glued, or one of the boards. And then I also drilled four holes. I drilled these four holes for cake dowels to be inserted in them for additional support if required. I've also got my wood glue an 8 inches cake card with four holes cut out of them holes that could fit the dowels then another 8 inches cake card this time without any holes cut out I'll start by first gluing the cake card with the holes on top of the board which I drilled four holes this board is going to be the base of my gazebo I'm just gonna apply some hot glue and then I'll stick the card on like so then using the wood glue, I would also glue the four dowels to the bottom board. Next, I'll place my second circular board on top of the dowels, place a stack of books on it to press everything down, then I'll leave it to dry for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, I went on to attach the top board I'm using hot glue here because I tried wood glue and it didn't seem to uh, work properly so I decided to use an alternative which is the hot glue so I'm just applying the hot glue to the top of the dowels and then I'll place the board on top using my ruler to make sure that I'm positioning it properly next I'll flip the gazebo over then apply some more hot glue to make it more secure I also added some more hot glue to the other end of the dowels for more security as well. Remember the colors, they were wrong, it was way more than a dream. Next, using the same hot glue, I attached the second cake guard on top of the gazebo like so. Next, I measured and cut out the size of the bling ribbon I needed to cover the dowels. Then using my hot glue, I started gluing them on. Next, I cut sheets of bling ribbon the same height as the gazebo and then using my hot glue, I glued them all around it. As you can see, I'm gluing these bling ribbon sheets just at the top of the gazebo.
Next, using the scissors, I cut the bling ribbon into single strips up to the edge, like so. After cutting the bling ribbons, this is what it looked like. Finally, I attached mirror mosaic tiles to the bottom of the gazebo to finish it up. These tiles are self-adhesive as I mentioned earlier on in this video, so I'm only applying hot glue to the beginning of the strip and the end of the strip. And there you have it, our beautiful cake stand is done. You could place a mirror on top of it, like I did here, and use it as your cake board to make it even more stunning. And then this is the gazebo. And a cake set up using the gazebo and the cake stand. We've now come to the end of this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye!